YouTube Nation, allow me to reintroduce myself. This is now Main Event TV, a.k.a. Me TV. Now, you have to excuse me for a little bit because today I'm not feeling too well. So, feeling a little sick. But you know I was going to come out with this because you know the work is fire. Anyways, today we're going to talk about Tiger Woods. Now, my face hasn't said enough already. Let me elaborate on what I'm talking about. I can't tell you how much I hate this guy. And before, you know, before I even go any further, before I even go any further, I want to let everyone know that, and especially like people like Mike and Mike in the morning, this isn't about jealousy, all right? Because as they say, oh, well, you know, every fan that gets on players, they have to be jealous because of their money or their stature, the way their lifestyle. I don't care about that, man. I don't care. Hell, get your money. Go get your money. If that's what makes you happy, get your money. I invite everybody to get money. That That's not my problem with him. All right. So for people to generalize a lot of people without knowing them to say that makes them look really foolish. But whatever. I don't like Tiger Woods because the fact is he's a very arrogant man. And now on top of that, but as reports have shown, Tiger Woods had to make up a story about when he was a little kid. There were a lot of racist uh, problems he had. Kids would tie him to a pole and write the word nigger all over him and carry it on. Then we found out afterwards that Tiger Woods was lying. That he had to make this story up to garner attention and sympathy so that people would forget about what he's done with the adultery. So let me get this straight, Tiger. You make up a story exploiting the hardships and struggles of an entire race of people, people who died because of the color of their skin, or whatever, so that you can get a little bit of sympathy for your own benefit. That's a real asshole move. That really is. But let's keep going, shall we? Because we all know Tiger Woods has said that, hey, I don't acknowledge the black side of me, the black half of me. Which makes me think, like another person had said to me before, he's got Uncle Ruckus Syndrome. But then he wants to back that up with, well, I have black friends, Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan. You have rich black friends who are out of touch with the black community. With the rest of black America. Doesn't say much. I mean, if we look at Charles Barkley now, what does he do? He gets paid to make fun of players younger than him, okay? Now, granted, Charles Barkley in his time, he was a great player. I remember when I was a little kid, I went to go see Charles Barkley play. He was a great player. But as we know now, he's garbage now. You make a living making fun of other people, other athletes. Though it's funny, you still make a living off that. Now, here's my thing. When you were an athlete... People criticized you and said whatever. You think that these players like Barkley and Kenny Smith and uh, Emmett Smith and Keyshawn Johnson, you know, people who still talk about other players, you think since they know how that scrutiny feels that they would break that cycle. But they don't want to because it's all about money. All about money. It's garbage. And they're pathetic. They're sellouts. They already have enough money. But whatever. Anyways. Tiger Woods now also has security around, uh, beefed up his security, I should say, for people and for people, you know, hecklers in the crowd. Now, he's also, as of this week, I believe, um, there's been security going around pointing out women in the crowd who think, who they think will be, uh, you know, will be, they look like, I should say, who look like Tiger Woods, uh, his mistresses, if that's what you want to call them. One woman was approached and asked if she was a hooker. So let me get this straight. You're just going to start pointing out random women in the crowd who you think look scandalous at the golf game? Nah. Nah. And then on top of this, 
You have this new Nike ad with Tiger Woods not saying anything, looking remorseful like, oh, I, we should be, you know, we should be sorry for him. I'm so sorry. Please, man. We know that this is all a money trap, all right? And anybody, I'm saying it now, anybody who watches the Masters today just to see Tiger Woods come back, you're an idiot, all right? You're an idiot because you're nothing but a pawn in his money scheme. He doesn't care about you. I don't even know what makes you think that, but whatever. Seriously, all he cares about is his money. When you buy those little video games, that's money. When you buy that little Nike polo shirt, that's money. He doesn't care about anything else but that. And to make it so bad, they actually had some idiot come on TV yesterday and talk about how Tiger Woods is disappointing. How their hero disappointed them and didn't live up to the expectations. Who the hell thinks this guy is a hero? I haven't seen Tiger Woods run to like a burning building to save anyone. I haven't seen him apply CPR to anybody and resuscitate anyone. I haven't seen him help someone even stop someone from bleeding out. Seriously, he's not a hero. He's an athlete, an arrogant one at that. So I don't know where these people get this all garbage from to keep hyping him up. But seriously, the truth is they don't care about you fans. All right, Tiger doesn't care about you fans. Now, if you're watching the Masters today just because you like the Masters, well, then this doesn't apply to you. But if you're watching just because of Tiger Woods, then seriously, you're an idiot. You're stupid. And that's what he's counting on. So, I really don't understand why you people even cheer this guy on. I would like to know why, actually. So please, hit me on the comments and let me know why. And I'm telling you now, before I go any further, if these comments get out of hand, and you guys start acting like idiots and start with the whole racist banter because I touched on it, seriously, I will pull on you. All right, your comments will be deleted. So you can act like a troll all you want, act like an idiot all you want. Fact is, is no one's going to see it. All right, nobody. So until then, be safe, y'all, and try to have fun today. It's a nice day out. Try to have fun. I'll talk to y'all then. I'm out.